West Ham are missing out on a lot of money and today we are going to be chatting through what might be going wrong in terms of sponsorship. So if you enjoy this video, please take a moment to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment to support the channel because as always, we would really appreciate that. Let's get going. So while broadcast revenue makes up the biggest amount of club income, the next biggest earner is through sponsorships. Now, of all sponsorships, shirt sponsorship is a huge money earner for every single club. And they're basically the biggest asset that you can buy aside from potentially stadium naming rights, which is a whole nother story. And it makes sense because as West Ham fans, we talk about the Doc Martens kit. We talk about the Avco kits to this day. And we remember those kit sponsors, whether we choose to or not. It just does happen. Um, and we've got memories associated with each of those kits there's there's certain memories certain players that I'm sure you can picture right now to Canio who the sponsor is on the front of that kit so that brand exposure as businesses go is pretty impressive and this is why that space is so valuable we also aren't really able to profit as much as a lot of other clubs from stadium naming rights, mainly because we do not own the stadium and therefore we would only get a small cut out of any major deals over a certain number of money. So essentially, it's not worth us putting our time into, especially when, as we're going to discuss very shortly, the Betway deal is coming to an end. But for most clubs, the front of shirt sponsorship is the most valuable advertising position that you've got. And this is somewhere that West Ham are really missing out. Now, if we take a little look at this here spreadsheet the fair market value represents a fair price for our front of shirt sponsorship and up at the top you've got the traditional top six clubs you've then got villa sitting in seventh and us in eighth now we've had european football we've got good players we've got a big stadium which is london based there's a lot of factors that are going our way for why a brand would want to be in front of west ham fans and the coverage that we get so the value of our front of shirt sponsorship that would be fair is 26 million pounds. However, we are only getting 10 million of that per season from Betway, meaning essentially we are underselling ourselves by 16 million pounds every single season. So the only team, as you can see in this very small spreadsheet, if you can see, that is underselling themselves as much as we are is Man United, who are getting 17.5 million pounds less than it's worth. But while they're underperforming, they are still getting an absolutely monstrous and massive £64.5 million per season. So we are missing out absolutely massively. And at the time of signing Betway, we got the deal for a pretty decent price. So we were charging £6 million per season. And at that time, Spurs were charging £16 million, City were getting £20 million, and Liverpool were getting £25 million. So in terms of performance and in terms of where we stood commercially, we were getting a pretty decent amount for our front of shirt sponsorship. However, Long term, the value of this prime advertising spot has gone up, but our price has not reflected that whatsoever. So Spurs are charging £33 million more currently than they were back in 2015. City are charging £44.9 million more and Liverpool are getting £40.8 million more than they were back in 2015. Meanwhile, us at West Ham, we are charging an extra £4 million. So as you can see, we've not followed the trend of the advertising becoming so much more valuable and needing to cost more. And that is why we are falling so far behind in terms of sponsorships. So we've remained loyal to Betway and we've kept that price really low. And realistically, we should be aiming for at least that fair £16 million more per season. I used to work in sponsorships as well. And I know it's not easy at all to get these deals over the line, especially the big ones. But when you've got a system in place to impress potential sponsors and showcase the value that you can bring and why it's such a good placement for your brand, it does become a lot easier. And again, it does take time to introduce like this is how you compete with the biggest clubs and have that extra money that you can then invest in transfer windows. And this is how it can be done. Clubs like Liverpool, that are getting £55 million more than us for every season in their front of shirt sponsorship, essentially have another £165 million to spend on players within the three-year accounting period without it being any sort of PSR Yep, PSR? PSR, isn't it? PSR issue. And that's an absolute game changer. Um, but like I said, it's not something that happens overnight. These are like seam, seamless, polished operations that some of the top clubs, especially the likes of Man United, like the lengths that they go to to secure these sponsorships, to woo the potential sponsors, the years, the teams that go into this. Like this isn't like a one person trying to cold call a business. This is like teams that put together massive, massive presentations and go to any lengths to try and woo them. And 
one out of 200 times it might work but it's a it's a whole new way of approaching sponsorships and this is what you have to do to be able to compete with those bigger clubs it's an entire step up and it's something that at West Ham 10 years ago we never would have had to have really worried about or focused on but the amount of money that you can get in if you can do it differently and if you can combine that with performances for example if we can get back into Europe suddenly it's a very very lucrative way of approaching business that can benefit you in many many ways. So there you go. We've got one season left under Betway and it's also been reported for a while that the club have been looking for new sponsors, which doesn't surprise me because we know it's coming to an end, which would then begin in the 25-26 season. So the challenge is on. And if we can get an increase, I say it should come straight off those concession prices. <laughs> but yeah, we might be able to get Betway on a different capacity as well. So we wouldn't necessarily be saying goodbye to them. And um, it could be stadium naming rights, which, as I said, would cost them a lot and probably not financially benefit us as much as we'd like. Uh, it could be a shirt sponsorship. It all depends on the rules for betting partners and, and where they can be placed in the coming seasons. But if they don't want to disappear completely, there are options, even the likes of the in-stadium advertising boards. There's a lot that can be done in terms of brand exposure. So there you go. There's my my massive input of what I what I used to do for work, but talking about all the sponsorship side of things. Um, and there are clubs out there that have their commercial operations running so smoothly and it is basically the top six when you look at it because they're investing that money back into getting more money. So it is a risk if it isn't playing out at the moment. Um, I genuinely think there's a massive opportunity for West Ham to earn a lot more once this Betway deal comes to an end and then invest these in ways that is going to actually improve the future of the club. So there you have it. That's my little ramble. But the question I have for you... Are you surprised to hear that we are missing a massive trick when it comes to earning way below fair value for our front of shirt sponsorship? So let us know down below in that comment section. That's all from me for now. But if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the West Ham Network and turn those notifications on, please, so you never have to miss an update. If you fancy treating yourself, we've got memberships now on YouTube where we're putting a lot more content into it. We have got weekly podcasts with me, Anton and Russ. We've got monthly giveaways. We've got ex-players. There's all sorts to tune into. So make sure you take a little peek at that. It is not expensive. It is less than a cup of coffee nowadays. Um, but tune in at 5 p.m. as well, where I'm going to be running through Hammers Headlines for for today thank you so much as always for watching we do really really appreciate it hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already have a great day come on you irons